to my channel, Gemini Tarot. I appreciate every single last one of you guys for joining me here on this channel. It means so much. We're already at 5,000 subscribers and I'm so grateful, guys. Um, I'm just going to keep posting and see where it takes us. So we're just going to get straight into this message. This is pretty much what warnings your guides have for you. So we have three cards here. First card being Moonstone. Hopefully the butt was covered. First card being Moonstone. Second card being, I mean the second crystal is Rose Quartz. And the third one is a pointed, I guess, <laughs> Moonstone crystal. So make sure guys, when you're choosing these cards, you're choosing with your intuition. So right now you can take three deep breaths to connect your mind, body, and spirit and get in a space to where you are able to receive guidance and where you are able to receive an intuitive push towards one of the cards. So make sure you're taking those three deep breaths and then after doing so, you can either see a number in your mind, visualize a number, repeat a number in your third, in your head, or you can allow your eyes to guide you to a pile, whatever you intuitively feel called to do. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the pile selection. I hope that you find the message that's for you. Okay, hi pile number one. So let's just get straight into your message. <laughs> let's see what warnings your guides have for you. What warnings, what things should pile number one be aware of? Let me make sure you guys can see my shuffling. Because I know sometimes I fail to show my shuffling. Let's just go like this. Okay, so the first card is Virgo. I feel a lot of you guys might be overworking yourselves. Some of you guys could kind of be workaholics or you're just perfectionists, dude. And this can be kind of to your detriment, especially if a lot of you guys postpone things because you want them to be perfect. Um, we'll see. Let's keep pulling cards though. But yeah, guys, I feel like you, you're going to also burn yourselves out because some of you guys, you might... There's just something here with work. So either you're in this energy of not feeling good enough to put your work out there to where you work towards something else to bring you money. You know what I mean? If that makes sense, like, oh, I want to be an artist, but I'm going to work here and do this until I can have this. And it's just like, yeah. Or you could be simultaneously working while wanting to put out some sort of art or wanting to do something but a lot of you guys are just super critical of yourselves for no reason and you just push yourselves to an extent where you just probably wouldn't push anyone else to an extent that you might not push anyone else so yeah i feel like your guides something they're trying to warn you about is possibly your lack of patience some of you guys might be very hard on yourselves and impatient with yourself and this could be something that you learned from your family from in your childhood if you had certain parents or people in your life who were just super uh what's the word that i'm looking for sorry um if you had parents or people in your life who were just super pushy on you or just didn't accept enough <laughs> that's not the right word that i'm looking where they didn't accept what you had to offer like if you showed them art or if you showed them something that you did it just wasn't good enough for them or you could or they could have like actually said deprecating things to you whatever the case is it might not be from your childhood that's just something that i really picked up on you guys need to start getting clear on why you're so hard on yourselves because i feel like you're good enough just as you are and if you were to show people like a regular people who were not as critical as the people that you've been around and who are not as rude <laughs> i don't know if that's the right word but rude as the people you've been around you'll see that people aren't expecting this as much from you and that's okay to have high expectations for yourself and to push yourself for more but there's an ex there it gets to an extent where it can be crippling and it can uh, can eventually be detrimental to you So the card that came out is the age of light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. And what I'm getting from this is a lot of you guys are so much more talented than you are aware of. A lot of you guys are just this bright star, this magnetic energy. This, like, a lot of people already, ugh, a lot of people already look at you and they see, I don't want to say perfection, 
because like yeah you're perfect but like you know some people might think that i'm just like exaggerating or whatever but i feel like people are already looking at you and already admiring you and already thinking that what you've done is good enough and so i feel like this is really your age too we have the queen of cups that wanted to come out i feel like this is really your time as well in which a lot of you guys are so unaware of you could be giving all of this good energy because it kind of came out reversed i kind of don't know how i'm shuffling this right now because my camera if you guys could see my setup you would understand why anyway i'm kind of getting this energy here with this queen of cups coming out that you could give way too much to other people or you could give everyone else the benefit of the doubt without giving that same kindness to yourself. To so everyone else, you could say, oh, I understand you had a long day or this was hard or this was hard, but for yourself, you're like, no excuses, get the fuck up, you're lazy, da da da, and it's like, bruh, relax, relax. So yeah, I think that there's some sort of ex exercises, I hate that word, but there's things that you guys need to start doing that's really going to help you get in a space of letting go of overthinking and kind of just being in the moment and, and allowing yourself to be in, a mo in the moment because a lot of you guys, you're not in the moment while you're, for example, if you were painting, it's, I don't know how to explain that, but like you get what I mean. Like when you're supposed to be doing something that you love, you're doing it from a space of wanting it to be perfect or being critical of yourself or being just way too much, you know what I mean, in the best way possible. Because you guys are, like, enough, you know? And I feel like you're more than enough. But a lot of you guys just, bruh. So, yeah, Ace of Cups, it's time for you guys to really start being kinder to yourself. Start showing yourself a lot more love. You are amazing. You are perfect as you are. Stop being fucking hard on yourself. There's 50 people that would love to be in the position that you're in currently. And that is any position. Whether you're very smart, very attractive, very talented, whatever the case is. And, yes, you might not be perfect. But there could be, there you could be fucking worse. And if you're not perfect, yes, you can stay in this energy of trying to improve but don't get in the space of being too critical and not seeing how far you've come because you're going to be in this endless pursuit sorry that the music got randomly loud you're going to be in this endless pursuit of like better better and more and more and more and you're never going to actually find that because it's an unrealistic expectation and a lot of you guys might be comparing yourself to people that could have years of experience way way more way wait up way many way more years of experience i don't know if that's the right word people who might have better um opportunities than you better cards that they've been dealt so just be kinder to yourself be kinder to your journey and take it day by day and make sure that while you're doing this you're taking time to give to yourself definitely not telling you to stop improving definitely not telling you to stop working on yourself but don't be in this space of like killing yourself basically am i trying to work so damn hard child so let's see let's get to one more card last card is hermit yeah this <laughs> virgo came out multiple times here so you guys could be a virgo but i'm overall just getting this energy of you guys isolating yourselves due to your fear of not being perfect um and maybe you guys are spot possibly still in this space of trying to become the best version of yourself and mold yourself or whatever but that's what it is maybe maybe right now you are in the space of trying to mold yourself and trying to be better and that's okay like take that into account as you're maneuvering and operating on a day-to-day -day basis i am learning i am blossoming i'm growing and i'm not going to be perfect at this and i feel like even if some people because that could be something that you're more so afraid of is like what other people have to say or that could be something that you're taking into account is like how critical other people may be and there's definitely possibly some fucking critical mean ass fucking people out there and the whole point of that is like Oh my gosh, there was something that I was getting with the critical people. I'm so upset. Sometimes I can get horrible posture. But yeah, there's possibly going to be some people that are fucking critical of you. But who the fuck cares? They don't know you. They don't know who you're becoming. They don't know what is waiting for you and what is possible for you and what is obtainable for you and what you're going to fucking have. So get out of your head. Stop being so... Just expecting perfection. 
Yes, you can try to be better, but do not fucking overwork yourself and do not be hard on yourself. And be patient because you're trying to build something completely new. Possibly some of you guys are literally trying to even find yourself for the first time and start developing yourself. And maybe now you have a clear plan of what it is that you're going to do and who it is that you're going to become. And maybe because it's not happening or maybe you're comparing yourself to other people, you're just getting so fucking frustrated. And it, there's a need for you guys to just take a step back, take a chill pill focus on your journey get grounded in the now and just take it day by day breathe in the air and just slow down but that was the message that i had if you made it this far comment down below a cute emoji um i'm gonna have it on the screen the emoji that you should comment down below make sure to like the video subscribe turn on those post bell notifications and yes that is the message that oh that was the message that i have for you guys today Hi, pile number two. Welcome to or back to my channel. Thank you guys for picking a pile. Oh, my card just fell over. Thank you guys for picking a pile. We're just gonna get straight into the message because introductions and things, they're just so awkward. So, you keep wanting to give me too many damn cards. Time for you and your mind games. Okay, so the first card is Palm. You guys are looking, I feel like you guys are looking very good. There was also innocence. And look, how did I know that it was right here, guys? I can't even, dude, I swear to God. Like, this card fell out first, and I was like, mm, that might be something or whatever. And I think I might even, like, replay it back so you guys can see. Mm. too many damn cards but i think these two specific cards did come out together and i'm kind of getting this vibe um, i have to tell it how i see it with these messages i'm gonna keep these cards out because i feel like this there's an important message there um i'm kind of feeling like there's someone here that or there's just multiple energies that could be wanting to prey on your naive naivety or like whatever beauty you bring to some sort of situation so you could write music and bring a guitar or bring your voice or bring something it could even be in business you know but there's something where you guys are bringing light joy color creativity to a situation and someone's counting on your naivety when it comes to either business or just when it comes to you in general maybe some of you guys are too nice um but yeah oh this card just flew across the room give me one second okay so journey came out so and yeah we have indecision so i feel like you guys are definitely about to be on some sort of journey there could be some things promised to you there could be some sort of situations the main thing that i feel like your guys want you to know about is just be curious about a situ about situations <laughs> make sure that you're using your intuition don't be in the situation of being naive or trusting that people have the, are looking out for your best interest because nine times out of ten they're looking out for themselves um not this isn't meant to scare you i just feel this could even be in situations of relationships whatever the case is this is about to put you on some sort of journey i don't feel like it's going to be like the end of a coming of age film where your life just changes or whatever but i feel like um there's just going to be some changes in your life um you're going to be in you're going to face some new situations there's going to be some new experiences and you might be inexperienced with certain things with understanding certain behavior understanding certain energy a lot of you guys are just needing to make sure that you are like sitting with yourself so that you're in tune with your own energy so that when something comes into your atmosphere in your energetic space that's not in alignment with you or your values or that's just not in alignment with you you can easily identify that and also wait no i'm sorry also if someone's energy like if someone has weird energy or wrong energy or just energy that's not in the vibration of yours you will be able to identify that once you're even clear about what your energy actually feels like if that makes sense because a lot of the times people are just they're not like really in tune with how they feel or like with how their own energy feels or the energy of their own room 
or like anything like that so when a foreign energy comes in and there's something wrong or something insidious about someone's energy i don't want to say insidious because that's like a huge word and that means something way darker but if there's just something weird about someone's energy a lot of to- a lot of the times people pick up on it like they feel something but they don't they have no idea what they're feeling or they don't um do any sort of energetic work that helps them understand how they are feeling so yeah there's a need for you guys to just spend some time with yourselves just a little bit and be curious when you're in these new situations do not be afraid to speak up do not be afraid to seem like the bad person if something isn't sitting right with you if you feel like you're getting the shitty end of the stick then speak up about it if you feel like something's just not right you need to feel comfortable enough to speak up and you, there might be certain situations in your childhood or with family where you were just put in situations where like your voice wasn't respected or the things that you said just weren't heard um and maybe that is affecting you in your adult years but there's a need if that is the case for you to do shadow work surrounding that because that can hinder you in a lot of ways in the future and it's just not gonna be good man it's just not gonna be good if you're in the space of people pleasing or if you're just too naive and too nice people are evil and it honestly sucks because i'm a nice person too and it sucks when people are just like oh this is a nice person or a nice girl let me take advantage like what the fuck is wrong with people though because that is really scary to me like if someone's nice i'm not in this energy where i feel like i want to take advantage of them like wrong with people i think you guys might not have been able to see the cards this entire time which would be interesting i would be kind of mad but whatever (laughs) so continuing with this message i do feel like there's just this energy of you guys meaning during this time be curious be willing to get into some shit be willing to get into an argument not really but i'm just saying be willing to stand your ground if something doesn't sit right with you there's no because you don't want to cause conflict or because you don't want to make anyone think that you're a bad person you're going to sit here and just bite your tongue while you're being put through uncomfortable possibly abusive situations so when you see something when something's not sitting right with you this could be going on a date this could be in a business thing whatever i just feel like there's new opportunities and new things coming to you and it could be all of the above this is going to be a new time in your life especially with this activation and integration and i feel like a lot of you guys could have learned a lot as well you could have had to cut a lot of people off you could have experienced a lot of things where just you've been shown how shady and weird people are and that might have really rubbed you the wrong way just in general and now it's time for you to integrate that no i'm not telling you to be this person that's like mean and like always paranoid and wondering if someone has some negative shit to say but there is a need for you to recognize and like you after all that you've been through understand the world that you're living in and understand that you can't be in this space of being passive you can be assertive you don't have to be aggressive you can be assertive and you can be defensive about over yourself and over your peace and over your energy and i feel like that's pretty much what you're going to be tested with during this time that could have been one of your battles in the past um oh the empress is coming out reverse the boobies are out let's cover up the boobs there's so many boobs but the empress is out coming out reversed and so what that's saying to me is like again it might even be telling you to kind of get out of this being too highly feminine allowing things to just slide like that could be one thing i feel like it could be a little bit of you just being way too passive or you falling deeply into this submissive archetype that's just not going to benefit you especially with the new type of journey that you've had or again that could have been something that you experienced in the past being this empress energy being this feminine energy but being treated badly or being walked all over or being unheard whatever the case is um this just was not the best energy for you and it's just not serving you anymore eight of pentacles is showing me that you have invested energy in rebuilding yourself and building yourself up from all of this toxicity from all of this negativity and it's like again that's what i was saying maybe i'm seeing the seven of wands but that's kind of the energy that you need to have when it comes to how you feel about yourself how it feel how you feel about the progress that you've made like you need to be defensive over it and when new opportunity i'm not telling you to be scared i'm just telling you to see things for what it is and get out of this space of being too naive and giving giving too many pe- people the benefit of the doubt and i do feel like you know you have learned lessons but a lot of you guys could still kind of be in this space of 
giving people the benefit of the doubt. I feel like there's also this energy of you having to fight yourself in a version of yourself that you once were, like this version of yourself. Like that could have been an archetype that your family pushed onto you or that could be like something that your family values as a submissive woman not fully not for all of you but there's just certain archetypes that you've fallen into that now it feels kind of uncomfortable for you to do anything else it might feel uncomfortable for you to act any other way it might feel really uncomfortable for you to speak up for yourself like it just might be really uncomfortable if you haven't done it for a really long time or you might like just not want to be perceived in this way after being perceived as so feminine or whatever the fuck it was in the past and I do think that for the time being, there's just a need to integrate this. It's a slow process. Things don't happen overnight. Um, I feel like this is going to bring a lot of fun too. But things don't happen overnight. So a lot of you guys are just needing to get out of your fucking head, bro. Get out of your head and when you just have certain experiences that push your limits that push you out of your comfort zone you're not going to wake up one day and just be this fucking angelina jolie or miss smith fucking person who's just talking shit to everyone if you've spent all your life being a doormat it takes time and it's something that's learned confidence is something that's learned it's something that over time you develop after being lacking confidence for so much you develop it because you learn that you're capable and if you don't put yourself in situations that show you you're capable you're never going to learn that so just don't be uncomfortable or don't be scared or afraid of like the conflict that's inevitably going to happen or the situations that are inevitably going to push you because that's what they're here to do they're here to push you they're here to get you to be molded into who it is that you're really meant to be just for a while i feel like a lot of you guys just haven't been living in your authenticity but that is the message for pile number two this one was super deep that's just something to be a little bit warned of you guys might be really unreceptive of being like putting yourself out there or whatever but again if you're not willing to you know be uncomfortable if you're not willing to step out of your comfort zone you're going to be pushed one day and it's going to be way way much more of a big deal than it had to be and i'm also kind of getting this energy of um yeah that's the main thing you should be warned of the conflict that's gonna happen either way either you take it within your own hands or you allow the universe to do it for you so i hope that this reading resonated with you guys if you made it this far make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe make sure to do all that good stuff and comment down below a peacock emoji just because i couldn't think of another emoji in a short amount of time so i hope that this resonated thank you guys so much for being here i will see you guys in another video if you decide to join me for another video bye hi pile number three thank you so much for joining me on this video or on this channel i appreciate every single last one of you guys who's been showing love and your support we're just gonna get straight into the message because there's really nothing else to say let's start shuffling the cards okay so the first card is repurpose Ooh, if this has to do with anything because that could definitely mean a lot of things i don't want to assume and give you guys the wrong answer and then you guys are just like in it click and it click off because i really i mean i do that too so let's see repurpose is coming out what does repurpose mean spirit what are the warnings that you have for your spirituals i mean for pile number three okay so we have a man holding a heart this is kind of showing me that this could be a warning of new love coming in but this could be a warning of something ending so that something new could come or this could even be someone from your past coming back that you may not want to come back or you may not be prepared for them to come back especially if you see this card with this energy being like surrounded by all of these other energies here i like to pull my cards from the top i'm sorry guys if i'm wording that a little bit weirdly that was the card that I was going to get. 
so we have repurpose a man holding a heart and soul family so this definitely is not a scary message for you guys this message is so good and so positive we have the crumbling coming out so i feel like you guys will and break the chain you guys are really about to be rewarded for something good and a lot of you guys may be anticipating something bad or you may be anticipating just something negative but i feel like the energy that you're getting is anticipation and because in the past there could have always been something catastrophic happening or there could have always been something crazy happening this could be what you're expecting and you could have came to this me to this message expecting to hear your life is fucking falling apart and i do feel like maybe some things have ended there could be some friendships and relationships that end but the main warning that your guides have for you is you're about to have like a massive like just repurpose when it comes to your life in general not only first of all this has oh my gosh this message is so clear to me um so we have jump in break the chain and the crumbling you guys have possibly been in the space of getting clear about what your life's purpose is where you could have been in this energy of releasing yourself from limiting beliefs you could have been releasing ancestral patterns addictions whatever things have been going on within your lineage that have been toxic and that could have been holding your lineage back i feel like if you guys didn't pass this karmic cycle if you didn't do what needed to be done you would still be dealing with some stuff you wouldn't be having this repurpose you wouldn't be having all of these massive transformations happening in your life there would still be more things that need to crumble that need to be destroyed and so what this is showing me with this crumbling card is things are not going to be like well a, a, you're walking into a new start i was about to show the camera like this but you're walking into a new start like all of this darkness all of this just chaos it's pretty much over and now you're actually going to be living in your purpose and a lot of you guys have been helping other people a lot of you guys have been showing other people how to find their light how to identify their light a lot of you guys if you look at this card a lot of people are blinded to what's happening within this matrix society or blinded to their own addictions to their own problems and this could be within your family or this could just be within life in general where you're impacting people's lives and changing how they view and view the world and operate on a day-to-day -day basis and either you're doing that in some sort of career way or that's just what you're doing on top of living the life that you're going to enjoy living if that makes sense sorry if that, uh, that was worded weird so when these opportunities are pushed your way there are going to be certain things that just require you to put all of your energy into or that require you to take a leap of faith or that require you to do something that you're not, not used to doing this could be interacting with people because some of you guys especially because there's multiple um a man holding a heart and soul family here some of you guys could have been isolated during this time of recreating yourself during this time of purging during this time of getting clear on what's not serving you you could have been isolated you could have had to cut a lot of people off and now you could have been you could have even also had some sort of traumatic events happen to where you might not be able to receive love or accept these friendships or whatever offers are wanting to come your way and the main thing that i'm seeing with this is this could be the only thing that your guides are wanting you to be warned of is not operating from a place of being scared yeah we have the high priestess coming out reversed so a lot of you guys are just not fully in tune with the high priestess or with yourself with your own intuition at this at this time and what your intuition is telling you is that everything is fucking fine everything is fine you're about to be walking into a new cycle of your life you're about to be reaping new blessings and rewards you're about to be meeting new people and if you stand in your way if you are in this space of looking for the problem or looking for the I don't know just looking for something bad then that is what you're gonna get and you're gonna manifest certain negative opportunities within this newfound situation that's here to bring a lot of blessings and abundance i do feel like some of you guys and this isn't gonna resonate for all of you but some of you guys could be definitely like kind of on edge or you could be in this space of just like thinking that people have some shit to say about you that's not gonna resonate for all of you thinking that people have ulterior motives or some of you guys are just super paranoid or super quick to argue or say something to defend yourself and this is not a time there's going to be people that come into your life that you're not going to have to defend yourself from um and it's like these people that are here to bring you love and that are here to offer you love they don't need to pay for what someone else did they don't they don't need to be um 
paying for what someone else did to you. They don't need to be like, this is gonna be misplaced. Um, a lack of trust, it's gonna be placed on this person and they don't deserve that. So yeah, I feel that there are some things in your life that just are not working now um, and that you could be really wanting to hold on to relationships, jobs, whatever. Again, this is time for a new purpose. It's time for new things to come into your life. So you can hold on to these jobs or, and things now. But when you see new opportunities, there's a need for you guys to, and this could be relationships too. But when you see new opportunities and things that look like what it is that you manifested, maybe there's a few things that are off. But if this looks like what it is that you've manifested, if this looks like if a person seems like they're part of your soul family, whatever the case is. Now, this isn't telling you to be like an asshole and just be like, oh, and I also remembered that these cards are coming out this way for me because the way that my camera is the cards are coming out very the complete wrong way guys like i'm pulling tarot like this and the card for me is coming out like this but for on this camera it's coming out reversed but it actually is upright for me so what this is telling me is like there is about to be a lot of good luck there's about to be a lot of good fortune here and when these things come into fruition i also feel like there's going to be some sort of certain job or just something that requires your energy because you're trying to manifest something new i mean it's going to require your consistent effort it's going to require you to want to do this um i would fix the cards but i'm not going to so yeah i just feel like the things that you've written down and maybe some of you guys need to write some more things down but the things that you've written down they're really about to be coming true at this time and y'all need to get out of your head you guys need to stop being defensive over something this is literally the nine of wands you guys need to not be defensive over yourself anymore um because i feel like it's taken a lot for you guys to build yourself up to this point where it's taken a lot for you to gain this confidence or to gain this trust in yourself or maybe it's just like you have peace and you don't want any friends or relationships or just people or jobs to come in and ruin this sense of comfortability that you have right now but this card says jump in and you guys also need to continue breaking some sort of ancestral chains and some of your ancestors maybe you completed one sort of ancestral cycle where it's like not falling victim to this but now you're falling victim to wanting to isolate yourself or being super defensive this could be certain characteristics that your family members have that you could have resented as a kid and now these are characteristics that you're exhibiting so this is the main thing that your guides are telling you that you've accomplished a lot of things and you've come out of the situation as a completely different person but you need to make sure that this situation hasn't crippled you or even corrupted you in any sense not saying that you're corrupted in a way like you're evil but i'm just saying like you're you're losing sense of yourself you might be maybe as a kid you were super social social and super open and super open-minded and now you're just like you're just not like that and that could be because you've been corrupted in some sense so just reflect right now while you're still in these situations that you're letting go of while you're still cutting off people whatever there is a time there's a need for you to be in this space of releasing and detaching and coming to terms with things so that you can really embrace this new journey because there's about to be a lot of abundance and a lot of good things and blessings coming in and you guys need to be able to embrace them so i hope that this resonated guys thank you so much for watching this video until the end if you made it this far comment down some flowers just because i would appreciate it i just want to know who makes it until the end of these videos um and i think that's it bye guys